Welcome back to another video on my channel. Just a few days ago, we spoke about five players I wanted to see added to the Algerian national team in 2023. It's not even been a week yet, and one is already on board. But listen, get ready for it, because it's welcome, Ryan 8 Nori. Welcome to the club, son. We said we wanted him 21 years of age. This ain't a player who's like failed, failed, failed trying to play for France and then come along when he's 29, 30. This guy, 21, hitting the peak of his career, playing in the Premier League week in, week out, scoring goals in the best league in the world, and now declaring for the Algerian national team. So what a moment this is, and what a trendsetter this could be. If you're a young Algerian baller now, and you're seeing Rayan Ait Nouri, Premier League left-back, playing for the Algerian team, when he could have played for the French, and may well have got a look in at some point if his career keeps progressing in the way that it is, this is going to inspire others to join, inshallah. So, we've got ourselves a new left-back. Where does Ran Ain't Nori fit in Jamel Balmadi's system? So, obviously, that left-back position, we've got Rami Bensabaini, 27, a free agent in the summer, could well be leaving Gladbach and heading to a Borussia Dortmund, for example. So, that is going to be a super strong position. So, for me, you've got to try and find a way to fit Ben Sabaini and Ait Nori in the same team. I think it, I just think they're too good to bench both of them for the quality in that position. And I think the only route you go down is by playing the back five. Now, the back five did work in Douala. We actually beat Cameroon 1-0 in Cameroon and kept a clean sheet. And it was about 30 seconds from working in the in the home game in Bleeder until Turquo can be messed things up. So... We could see Jamal Belmadi go back to that back, five at the back, particularly in the big games, because he chose to do it in the big game. He went for a four at the back at the AFCON. Didn't really work, of course. Came out of the tournament with Alouin. This is solid. So the way you do it, I think, is you have Ain't Nori as the left wing back, and you have Yusuf Atal as the right wing back. And I think that, that suits both their strengths. I think both of those players are better going forward. And you play Rami Bensabaini as a left centre back. And if Ait Nori does bomb forward, Bensabaini can cover that pitch defensively. I think he's defensively a better player than Ray and Ait Nori. But you have got a back three there, a three centre back. So you can have Tuba, two guy, and Bensabaini in a back three with Ait Nori at left wing back and Yusuf Artal at right wing back. And that, for me, is the root and the system we should be embedding in the national team. 12 months before this Africa Cup of Nations. That's got to be the system, guys. It has to be the system. I think it's an absolute no-brainer that Belmadi opts to play that five at the back. Ben Sabaini, Tuba, Tugai, Ain't Nori, Artal. That's solid. I don't care what anyone tells me. The only concern you could say is that there's quite a few left-footed players. I think Ben Sabaini, Ain't Nori, Tuba, left-footed players. So it's a left-footed heavy um, defense. I'm not saying that because it's like left footy people are the devil or any of that stuff. I'm talking about the balance of the defense. The majority of a lot of players are right footed. So I think that's a solid back five. Of course, whether it's right and Bolhi, whether it's Anthony Mandrea in goal for the uh, the AFCON, that's okay. And then you've got a midfield two, Benassa with an Adley or an Awa, and then you've got your front three, your, your Delor, Mares, Belaili, or whoever it is that can just and they can stay up there. They have the freedom to stay up there. Because we have an extra centre back, and then you can have Ait Nori bombing on round Belayli. You can have Atal bombing on round Mares. I think this could be a really big step, and this is a massive L for the French, right? Massive L for the French. Okay, this is a player that would have probably got on a France squad in a future squad. I genuinely think that they got the Hernandez brothers at left back. Benjamin Mendy obviously been a bit of a naughty boy. Um, they've got Ferland Mendy, but I think Ain't Nori, the way he's going, and he's linked to clubs like Nice and Sevilla, um, that for me is a player that would have got in France that they will regret missing out on. There is nothing Deschamps could have done because he can't call Ain't Nori in a France squad at the moment. He wouldn't get in a France squad. It'd be deemed literally just trying to stop him playing for us. So we've done well there. I'll give credit to the board. I'll give credit to the FAF that Ray and Ain't Nori is joining. And that is a player you're going to see in shot on a play for Algeria for the next 10 years, 2033. You're going to see Ait Nori in and around the Algeria setup. He could be the next big left back. Fawzi Gulam, Rami Ben Sabaini, handed on the baton to Rayan Ait Nori. So drop a like if you're excited to see Rayan Ait Nori in the Algeria squad. Let me know your thoughts on this arrival in the comments down below. Thank you so much 
for watching. Let me know if you think you should start in my five back or play uh, on the bench even. You can go on the bench. Um, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.